Matthew, good. You know, you and Bennett go back a long way. When did you first realize that he was like huge on the internet? Sure. <laughs> huge on the internet? Yeah. In what sense? <laughs> Well, what's become hugely apparent is that, is that Benedict is a beetle. Um, that's, that became clear to me when we went to Toronto, but they had to shut down the town. Uh, well, it's a city, so it's quite a big deal. We weren't actually allowed in. We're like, we're in fucking film too. And I just like to go back to the days when we used to go to the Wells Tavern in Hampstead and do pub quizzes. Me too. And that was a really... It was a really nice time, and I love those little paintings between the saloon bar. Um, so, no, but in a serious note, he does have a lot of following on the internet, and I, and I'm, I, I try to stay away. <laughs> but it's not easy. Kira, you've been in the public eye for a long time now, since Bennett like that, you've been amazing, or at least since then. And have you had any um, advice for Benedict as he's been going through all this, or a perspective to offer? I'm dealing with British people here. No, 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 no. Very well. <laughs> well, no, the, the, you know, she's she's an inspiration to people, to young actors, uh, girls and boys who have had to grow up in the public eye and um, have every aspect of their life as well as their work scrutinised on a on a on the mass stage of the world, whether it be in the media at large or or, or in the digital media. So. Um, she, yeah, whatever she may think about not having advised me directly, her grace and her presence and her composure is, is an inspiration and advice to all of us. So, you have it.